everyone, Senrai Kai here. Today I'm going to be watching the second episode of Watashi no Yuri wa Oshigoto desu. And our first episode was a decent start. We have our main girl, Hime, got kind of roped into being part of this cafe that has kind of a Yuri Ojo Sama Academy kind of kind of vibe to it. It's a nice role play. And that was basically resulted after just, just obliterating some poor girl's arms. So she really had, uh, had no choice in the matter. But she also stirred up a little bit of drama, you know, a certain girl. I'm not too happy with her. It'll be interesting to see how things go from there. So let's jump on in and see how things go. Three, two, one, play. And I think, yeah, this is the opening again. Western in light li libel. Watashi no Yuri wa Oshigoto this is easier for me to remember than that. Despite being longer. <laughs> Her forced smile, very scary in these contexts. Whew. No, like, subs for the opening so far. And yeah, I feel the flowers and off the opening. Someone sounds like they're in a good mood. <laughs> the important thing. <laughs> yeah, we see some blushing going on. I do quite like that fountain. Almost reminds me of a scene from Citrus. Yeah, I can't be late for that. And Bandy and poor Kanako. <laughs> Which she just still doesn't know what the job is, right? So you can kind of imagine how she's feeling right now. <laughs> Indeed. Yeah, it would definitely kind of put a damper on the setting we're trying to build. So I definitely get it. it makes a lot of sense. And it does, yeah, work out in that sense. But I'm sure it's only a matter of time. If she, all she has to do is follow you and, you know, Seeker might get out. Are you sure you want to? <laughs> I'm not sure I'd call that the modesty. She's busy thinking about Hime. Oh, she's here. Okay. <laughs> Do we know exactly when she started the uh, the angel act? I, mean, I would assume it was just a high school debut thing. We should definitely explain why we don't want to talk about it here. But, I don't know for sure. <laughs> She's not wrong. Just gotta take it one step at a time. <laughs> Nobody can be like you, man. <laughs> you can say it. Kawaii is what she's going for. Oh. 
What is it? <laughs> That's something she can't talk about. Which is going to make her more suspicious. Which it probably has a kind of a circular loop maker. Eventually get to the point where she yeah, has to discover it herself out of concern for her. I mean, I get it, but... Oh wow, she does take a lot of shots. <laughs> They're pretty good shots, too. As she... Yeah, photographs are going into an alley. The secret job she goes off and does to a, you know, after abandoning her, you know, her. That reminds me of Sinful Gear a little bit with Hibiki and, and, uh, what's her name? Hibiki's wife, uh. <laughs> that is, of course, what she means. Oh, that was a kiss for a second. <laughs> yeah, that's what you signed up for. Miku, that's her name. Okay. <laughs> And not that I can do it, you know. So, is that going to be her friend, Kanako? Yep. Yep. No surprises there. Because she's worried about you. About your sketchy part-time job that you can't tell her about. <laughs> I'm probably just relieved that it's not like a... Uh, What's it called? Papa Katsu or something like that? <laughs> okay, I guess that works. I don't know if it's gonna work, but I mean, you can try it. If it's just not gonna work at all, like, she knows her better than anyone, and she, she can definitely say or do something that'll. Elicit a response that makes it clear. It's better than a maid cafe. It's a specialty cafe. I'm a little bit surprised we're getting this in episode two. <laughs> yeah, very different than the Hima that you know. Never heard of you. When you look away, it doesn't... It's... <laughs> yeah. Trying to act like you don't know her, not trying to bully her. <laughs> but yeah, she takes it that way, and I know I feel really bad for her. Can you help recover? Yeah, trim my mustache after this. <laughs> You'll be still. <laughs> She's so confused because she doesn't know anything. It's great to see. I live for this sort of thing. <laughs> yeah, don't piss off the Gyaru. <laughs> Oh, here, here we go. <laughs> the year, the lilies, the year, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> There's something wrong here. Don't be silly. Oh, no. All over her face. A guest. <sighs> Man, what a scene that they've made, you know. <laughs> First, you act like you don't know where to boil her. You throw water, ice water in her face. 
After flirting with a girl in front of her, that she doesn't even know. I feel so bad for her. I mean, I've enjoyed every moment of it, but I still feel bad for her. Yeah, she still cares about her friend. Looking out for her. <laughs> Even Chun did nothing wrong. Tagline of the show. Like, be, uh, like, role helping the role play, like, insert her into the setting to make it to kind of smooth things out, maybe? I don't know. That would be interesting to do. So, yeah, I assume she put on the uniform and, wow, she actually does look pretty good in it. In fact, she definitely looks more like the, the, like the character art for her on the My Anime List page. She definitely looks good, no doubt there. Like, much cuter like this, surprisingly. I mean, a compliment from Hima should mean a lot to her. <laughs> and there we go. Exactly what you needed to hear. Sorry for every, everything, really. And nothing else you're saying is getting through. So yeah, I guess it all works out. Maybe she's got to do some early preparation for her new job. <laughs> Love flashbacks to something I saw one minute ago. No, it's like, no, don't do it like that. Yeah, she definitely has to work on that if she's going to work at this cafe. Sometimes sink or swim can help somebody swim. <laughs> what if the season finale is going to be the arm finally gets healed? I don't. I don't think she's forcing her. <laughs> That's the kind of girl she is. <laughs> I mean, I think she wants to be here. She gets to work with you and stuff. There you go. Because <laughs> life is more exciting this way. Okay, not that different, but... <laughs> Why are you... Just... No faith in Tencho. As she waves around the <laughs> the arm. Tensho was pretty great. Very like, you know, devious. <laughs> that, that was a reaction. That was like a borderline yonder elm face. <laughs> yeah, this is the important distinction. I mean, she kind of wants to murder you, so. <laughs> and here we go. Literally shaking. There we go. Kitsui Oneyasama sounds about much more correct. <laughs> Am I included? How to take orders, I guess that's important to know as to be a waitress. <laughs> I 
That's not how kinky you are. <clears throat> Because I know one Yuri visual novel I read that had a, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I am. I am first year named Hime. Yeshida Sagi, that's what it was. <laughs> First timers. Visitors pass. Yamada Sama. <laughs> well, he just made his day. Go to Monwa Usagi Deska. But yeah, not, not to a great start. <laughs> well, apparently it had its own effect. I have to get up to let my cat out in a second. Oh well, the hug, oh, which almost always has, yeah, some uh, some quiet yelling attached to it with the two of them. But from their perspective, it's a very nice hug. Say lone tea, and then one in hots. Be right back. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> she's so mean to her. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't want that, would you? <laughs> what I've seen this has turned into. <laughs> Because you're the protagonist. It's your privilege. <laughs> Are you going to chime in? Yeah, you're not going to be out then. And not have your he in into yard from you. <laughs> She's a natural at this. <laughs> yeah, look at them blossoming in the back room. As always, she just seems so confused about everything that goes on around her. <laughs> I don't know, because you bit your tongue. Trying to do a basic order. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, from my perspective, it was all great. <laughs> we'll, we'll see. <laughs> well, let's see. <laughs> Hey, she didn't bite herself yet. <laughs> Can you even write this stuff? At least keep it to one language. <laughs> you're, just, you're just making up words at this point. <laughs> So about the order. <laughs> we must work together, compensate for each other's weaknesses. Pull that face. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be effective. <laughs> I would almost say she's cuter than he may at this point. And it's like not fake, you know? The same way hers is. No. I think I wrote down a couple letters, but... <laughs> Some... <laughs> 
Little scary smile again. Gonna give her a spanking. Probably because he keeps screwing up, to be fair. I just said bishop for a second. You just get like a tape recorder, you know? Okay. Being a good on air summer right now. <laughs> she regret begrudgingly does it, but it still, still matters. Still helpful. <laughs> so it's a safe assumption. Well, you can I read that all in time. I might go back to that later. <laughs> Some gratitude from our useless Kohai. I mean, this is kind of a nice moment. Which means Conoco had interrupted. She, she's being kind of scary. Like, because it was a normal phase at first, but then it like lingered on it. Long enough to what to where it started to be kind of scary and yeah, you know, like Amplify, which started to walk. You know, I did not think she'd be this scary when the episode first started. I'll be honest. Well, I feel like I get mixed signals from you. <laughs> well, everything's hard when you're not used to it. Man, I'm getting double teamed by two people that are bigger than you. That's messed up. You know, the customers definitely heard that scream. Well, I am enjoying this show. I can't really know what other people think of it. Like, I haven't really read any discussions about the show or anything like that yet. But. I, I, I like it so far. Like, it's obviously not going to be anywhere near the level of, um, of the last Yuri show we got. Which was a Tensei Ojo, Tensei Ojo, something or other. Which was one of the best Yuri anime I've seen in a long, a long time. So this, I had, no, I had no expectations that this would be anywhere near as good as that, but, but it's definitely solid so far. Like I can see this being a decent 7 out of 10 anime, we'll see how things go, but. What should I believe? Nani o jinji tara yin desu no. Oh wow, really nice end card. By Satsuki Shina. Yeah, I quite like that. Okay. So, yeah, that was the second episode of Watashi no Yuri wa uh, Oshigoto this. Yeah, that's the name of the show. So, this episode, you could never say kan Kanoko, Kanoko, that's the name, right? Was the, uh, the the focus. Because we already knew she existed. She's one of Hime's friends, like one of her few like real friends that's not like just captivated by her fake persona, right? It's a bit more of a real friendship, like the only one I think that she has. But yeah, she also seems to be a bit of a shy, introverted kind of character. So this episode was a good chance for her to work on that. And joining the cafe is a good chance because it really necessitates being in front of people, talking to people, you know, customers specifically, as well as talking to other coworkers, especially in like the, the performance scenes there so 
there was ever a good chance for a girl to come out of her shell, be more talkative and more comfortable, just, yeah, more comfortable in front of people, talking to people. This is definitely a good opportunity for that. So, it's good to see. But yeah, she really did become a lot cuter when she put on the uniform. I know, she definitely did something with her hair, too. Like, it wasn't just the uniform. Like, the way it was before was kind of like, almost a boyish hairstyle. I don't know, I don't think, well, by anime standards, boyish, I mean. But, uh... So yeah, the hairstyle was definitely changed. I want to go to how she puts the uniform on. Yeah, she's got like tied up. She's got a couple bits in the front. Yeah, much, much more girly, cuter hairstyle, I would think. Yeah, I definitely prefer that much more than the other one. So definitely a good improvement. And I'm glad she joined the cafe. I wasn't quite sure when we would get this, but I knew at some point she would discover her job and all that. So, I guess sooner the better, it's, it's fine. More time for her to be a part of the work shenanigans and we don't have to like keep it a secret from her for forever. Like, I kind of referenced um, Sinful Gear earlier in the episode because, yeah, Hibiki did the same thing with Miku. She had some secret job she couldn't talk about, so she kept leaving, not telling her anything, and Miku just kept getting more and more frustrated. And this went on for what seemed like several episodes, but uh, we got it dealt with pretty quick here, so no lingering suffering. <laughs> Uh, in that sense, so so that's good in a way. But yeah, that was pretty much the first half of the episode in a nutshell. The rest of it was just kind of her getting the, getting getting the hang of things, and I mean he messed up getting the thing, hey, hey, getting the hang of things, right? Just screwing up the ordering, biting herself, and having to have her own Neosama cover for her, which she only does out of, out of obligation, not because she cares about her or anything, Baka. So we still got that going on. And we definitely have some kind of Yandere vibes from Kanoko. Like, whenever we have any sort of scene that even implies she's close with someone else, another girl, we kind of get these looks from her. Like, it's not anything over the top Yandere-wise, but just like lingering and certain facial expressions that are unchanging that gives you a, a sense of what's going on inside, right? I mean, I could just be crazy seeing things that aren't there, but I mean, the, when she went to that door late near the end of the episode, I'm pretty sure that was intended to be scary, because it it, it, it it was scary. I do want to go back to that scene real quick. Because that a good moment, too, where they were just, like, you know, gazing into each other's eyes. But yeah, she opens the door. And we have what seems like a perfectly normal, happy expression. Like, at first glance, there was nothing wrong with it, right? But, like, it stayed there. The camera moved back to them, back to her. She starts talking. Eye movement, n nothing of the sort. She moves forward, still no eye movement or anything of the sort. As she's talking, the door shuts behind her, doesn't, she doesn't look behind herself or anything like that. She doesn't move any more than necessary to, to continue moving forward to Hime. Like, that's some scary stuff. Like, se several seconds of no change in face. And then she just joins, uh, joins Ayana, Ayana Koji, that's her name, right? Something like that. And, and yelling at her. But yeah, being Hime is suffering, I'm starting to think. Like, she keeps getting bullied, keeps screwing up her job. She had a, one job to keep it secret. She couldn't keep it secret, so they had a rope. Uh, Kon Konoko in, right, as a result of her inability to keep it secret. So, Hime is just like one big screw up of a person. That's my biggest takeaway of the show so far. Like, naive, unperceptive, screws things up. Like, yeah, not the most cap capable anime protagonist is what I'm is what I'm trying to say here. But she's entertaining, so that's the important thing. Anyway, that's all I got to say. So thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, bye bye.